sharp or D flat. Uh, I'm going to use flats for this one, although you could use sharps if you really wanted to by saying all the letters in order and putting sharp after them because there would be seven sharps and since there are only seven notes in a scale every one of them is sharp. But in flats there's only five flats which means uh, less times I have to say the word sharp. So that's, <laughs> that's what we're going with today. Uh, just like the previous two scales, this one has all five black keys uh, and only two white keys, but a different set of white keys than the last two scales. Uh, here is the first note. We will do the right hand first, as some of the times that we do. We'll put the first two fingers, which will be two and three, on D flat and E flat, and cross over with the thumb to F, then the next three fingers on the next three black keys. G flat, A flat, B flat, and then we will have C natural. Then again, D flat, two and three, then the thumb on F, then two, three, and four on the next three black keys. Then thumb on C, and then the highest D flat that we'll play. Now we're going to go backwards. Thumb, then four, three, two, then thumb, then three, two, then thumb, then four, three, two, then thumb, then three, two. Simple enough. Feels exactly like the other two scales, the last two scales we did. Um, because it's the same structure. All the black keys, two white keys. And that's sort of the family that they fall in, if I had to arrange scales and families. Here we go with the left hand, starting on the third finger. Three, two, one. Then it'll be four, three, two, one. Then three, two, one. Then four, three, two, one. And you can put your third or your second finger. As long as you know you're turning around, the second finger will be fine. Now one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three. Then one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three. Simple enough. Moving right along, let's play the scale blocked with two hands. Here is two black keys with two and three. And then thumb on F. And then three fingers, three black keys. And then thumb on C. Then two and three. Then the thumb. Then two, three, four. Then the thumb again. And then just the highest D flat. Now thumb, two, three, four, thumb, two and three, then the thumb, then two, three, four, then the thumb, then two and three. Moving right along to uh, playing the scale linearly. One note at a time and in time. Ready, set, go. should feel very familiar and as long as you're paying attention to your white keys um, it should be easy certainly easier than the next one which might be a little bit confusing uh, but we'll get there when we get there let's play the chords again pay attention to your black keys 
uh, most of the notes you get to play right now will be black keys, um, as long as you remember that there are no white keys in the middle of the scale. There's only the F and the C, we should be good. So here's the first five notes, just to remind ourselves. Let's find the first, the third, and the fifth note. And that will be our home chord, our one chord, D flat major. Then the top two notes move up. We're going to find D flat we keep, then G flat, and B flat. And that makes the G flat major chord. And then let's bring them back. It's D flat major again. And then the five chord, otherwise known as A flat seven. We move down to the C, we move back up to the G flat, and then we stay on A flat. And then back to the home chord. Okay, let's do those in time. Ready, set, go. And. Okay, we have reached the deepest part of the forest of black keys, and the next scale will start to remove some of those black keys until we have no more left. And we work our way all the way back around to C. And then we'll do something special for C. I hope that keeps you interested in scales. Because learning C again will be like learning C for the first time. Even though you already know it in some ways. I hope to see you again for the next scale next week.